everybody okay a little bit later than usual today I know so I'm doing an out I'm outside it's beautiful out and I'm going to be chatting with you guys about an empath thing today so here's my empath chat so let's get to this right um, hold on one second while I'm just sharing this out a little bit and this is a, this is an interesting one today hey everybody this is a really interesting topic and um, I had this come up recently with a Facebook friend who was very very upset by um, the thought that she was under a psychic attack so I wanted to and this is one of my empath friends who very highly sensitive intuitive woman and she was getting very very upset and freaked out by this and so I wanted to talk a little bit about this um, a psychic attack for those of you who don't know a psychic attack means that someone is basically throwing negative energy your way so and it could be consciously like deliberately to um, harm or deliberately to cause um, negative feelings within you and kind of take away your feeling of well-being or it could be unconscious right we don't know um, either way we, it, people don't always know either way that can lead to another person especially empaths who of course are open to feeling everything open to absorbing that negative feeling that negative intention because empaths are really good at picking up on um, reading between the lines with people and picking up on things that are unsaid or picking up on intentions of other people so for empaths it's almost it feels almost magnified if someone is trying to throw some negativity or trying feelings trying to make you doubt yourself or whatever it is your way so what does that feel like if it's a psychic attack people will sometimes uh oh motorcycle going by um some people will describe it as sometimes a lot of headaches, sometimes physical symptoms, like they feel like their bodies are being controlled by somebody else. Um, they'll feel like they have these strange illnesses all of a sudden. It'd be insomnia, really bad nightmares, um, like bouts of bad luck, like just seems like everything keeps going wrong or communication with other people is really bad, a lot of fights and arguing happening. Those tend to be some of the symptoms that people describe when they feel they're under a psychic attack. So here's just for empath chat today, a way to look at psychic attack so that maybe it helps you to feel better about it and it helps you to understand it a little and here's what you can do as well. And some psychic mediums and people in the spiritual realm will say, um, or profession will say that psychic attacks can also whoops phone call psychic attacks can also come from entities or spirits or something in the ha something in buildings or houses I tend to disagree with that but that's a whole other video I don't I don't necessarily subscribe to spirits that are malicious or mean or trying to attack you I don't I don't so we're gonna take that off the table for a minute we're talking about just now human to human so cut in a way psychic attack is inevitable so let's just put it that put it out there at some point or another right as nice of people as we are either someone's been pissed off at you or you've been pissed off at someone else and we have cranky thoughts we've gossiped we've said things we've talked about people we've had darker thoughts about other people let's face it right let's just be totally honest so you can assume that if we've gone through times in our lives when we have felt that way about other people that probably there are people who have felt that way about us and may not have wished us the best in their lives right didn't give us the well wishes or through some negative thoughts or energy or words our way whether it's to our face or behind our back or whatever it is so know that it's just part of life right so it take kind of takes the power out of it a little bit when it's not like oh my god this part of the really really tough um, painful part about psychic attack is that people resist it so the first thing is to take the resistance out of it take the fear know that it's just part of the human experience and that it happens to everybody and sometimes we have done it to others maybe not totally intentionally or we didn't mean for it to be an attack but we have probably sent some negative energy people's way at one time or another so know that it's just going to happen it's part of life and it's okay we accept like accept what is now the severity and the pain that's involved with it that gets that is in absolutely empaths your control and i want to bring this point home that you have the power to control the severity of a psychic attack and how long it lasts and how you react to it is totally your in your call so nobody and i mean nobody 
Nobody can take your power away without your consent. Remember, even though we are very highly sensitive and very receptive, we have absolute control over how much we absorb and what we do with that. And we, so we can take the emotion and the charge, the emotional charge out of a psychic attack. So first of all, what you can do is just, just like I said, accept it and just decide that you're not energetically available for someone to take your power away. Like that's the first thing you can do is just really just say, you know what, this is something that happens. I accept it. It's going to happen. And then I will deal with it. And then just take that charge right out of it. Um, and know that this is just, you know, you, nobody can take away your power and you have the power still within you. No matter what, you are given divine creator energy upon birth. It is your birthright. Therefore, you are more powerful than any negative energy that somebody tries to throw you away or any mind games that someone tries to play with you. Okay, you have the power to say no and to just cut it off. So decide that no one is taking your power away, first of all. Then other things you can do are just regular stress techniques like breathing, meditating, take extra time to breathe through it. Let the pain and the aggravation of the psychic attack move through you. I just had this talk with one of my one-on-one clients today, not about psychic attack, but about letting past pain move through you. The more we resist feeling the pain, the more that it fights back, right? Because we know what re- what we resist persists. So if we're trying to fight off a psychic attack by, no, I'm not going to feel this. Oh my gosh, I'm being attacked. And just getting so afraid of it and so paranoid about it, it's just going to get louder and louder and louder. So if you, um, dizziness, yes, you can feel that during psychic attack as well. So nausea, dizziness for sure. But know that if you just, if you just really just breathe through it and you just allow the feelings to move through you. Okay. This hurts right now. This sucks. I have a headache. I'm going to do the regular things that I do to deal with my headache and I'm going to move on. Just let it move through you instead of fighting it. Like, Oh my gosh, you know, I'm under attack. Help me. What am I going to do? Just absolutely let it move through you. Um, just like you would anything, any shadow work that you're processing and just letting the feelings go through you. Because if you deny the feelings, they're just going to come back to bite you and they're going to get louder and louder and demand your attention. Same thing with this, same thing with this. Speaking of shadow work, that's another thing you want to ask yourself during what you, um, what seems to be a psychic attack is, is this really a psychic attack or am I just projecting my own emotions onto somebody else, thinking that they're sending me bad vibes, negativity, but it's actually either my feelings towards that person that I haven't expressed, or it's unhealed or unprocessed negativity within myself that is just asking to be seen. It's not an attack at all. It's just me needing to process. Um, you can also have turn this around by having compassion for the person that might be sending you negativity. And I know that sounds like what, like, why would I want to do that? But let's, let's, let's remember who we are. We are empaths. And one of our gifts is to be compassionate, empathetic, and be caring. Doesn't mean we have to be around the person. Doesn't mean we have to accept, uh, you know, just, I mean, doesn't mean we have to say what they're doing is okay. It's just that we're just going to say, wow, people who throw pain, to other people, people who project or send negative energy to others are hurting people, right? They're people who are hurt, hurt people, hurt people. So we're going to send them instead of trying to either fight back with negativity or allow ourselves to be consumed with the negativity. We're going to say, wow, okay, that person must be really hurting. I'm just going to send you high vibes and love Don't, doesn't mean you have to like call them, text them or be in their space, but you can say, I'm going to send you love and that's what I'm going to do instead and use your gifts as an empath. You don't have to absorb. You can send back and just say, you know, I, I feel this. I'm going to let it go through me and I'm going to send back, um, love and compassion. And then of course there's removing yourself. So if it's someone in particular, you have the choice to not be around and in their space or invite them into your space. You can remove yourself from that person or remove yourself from that situation or that place. The other thing you can do is go gray rock. And if any of you have talked about um, or studied up on narcissists and narcissistic relationships, you might have heard the term gray rock before where, and this is a practice by the way, this is, and it's kind of similar to what I said about 
taking the emotional charge out of a psychic attack and just saying, I'm not energetically available for a psychic attack. No one is going to take my power away or no one is going to take my sense of well-being away without my consent. This is a little along those lines, but you know, it's, it's basically like you don't react. So if someone's in front of you and they're trying to get you worked up, trying to trigger you and you go gray rock, which means you just like, Hmm, cool. You become an observer. You become, um, and there's a word for this. I, I, oh my gosh, there's a word for this and I forget what it's called. There's gray rock, but there's another word. I think it's witnessing. Um, and I forget if this is Buddhist. It might be a Buddhist term like witnessing. You simply become a witness and you go gray rock, which means you become totally objective and you remove the emotion and you're like, Hmm, that's interesting. And you're just observing them. Wow. And you're not engaging in conversation back. You're not showing them any reaction. You're not giving them anything to build up on. Because usually when people are doing this, they're looking to get a reaction out of you. And they're looking to get you engaged in some sort of a energetic argument or energetic pull or some sort of, you know, that kind of thing. So you just go, you're not just, you're just not going to do it. And you become very boring and bland until they lose interest in trying to get you worked up because they can see that it's not happening. That takes practice. So give yourself loving space. It's not easy, especially when you're an empath and you've already been through a lot of trauma and your emotional cup is up here and the littlest thing can have it spill over. And I know, cause I've been there and sometimes I'm still there. It's something that I work on. If you've had a traumatic past in your childhood or you've had things happen where you're already kind of, or you're dealing with, body is like I deal with healing from chronic illness and all these other things so sometimes one little thing can just spill over and then so it's hard to remain that gray rock so this is, takes practice and give yourself all the loving space to practice it but after a while you can master this and it becomes so much easier so it's like for psychic attacks or like narcissistic relationships just you're just not making it interesting anymore okay um, so again know that you know Psychic attacks can tend to be something that people are paranoid about. They get worried that every little negative instance in their lives or every little thing that comes up, every obstacle, every time they're aggravated or they feel like they're sick or they have a headache, oh my God, I'm under psychic attack. Learn to discern and learn to know that just being paranoid about it is going to bring more of that. Let's talk law of attraction manifestation. If you are fearful of something, you are basically calling it to you in a way. You are affirming to the universe that I am afraid of this or I'm thinking of this or I'm putting energy into this. So the universe doesn't know the difference between something you intentionally put forward energy into that you want and something that you don't want. So if you're continually worried about it or reading into every bad thing, because I mean, life's going to have obstacles. We're going to feel sick. Like things are going to happen and it's not always a psychic attack. Probably I would guess 98% of the time or 99, it's not a psychic attack. You know, it's just things that happen. So just don't read into it and allow that energy to keep feeding off itself. And then the universe hands you more of it. It, hands you more evidence of that because you're clearly thinking about it. It'll think it's something you want, right? Or something that you're interested in or asking for. So we're not even going to worry about that. Like I said, you don't give your power away without your consent. You are in control. You are in the driver's seat. So sometimes if something bad happens, become that witness, that observer and go, hmm, I have a headache right now. What do I need to do? I need to maybe do my up my self-care. Like, okay, what do you need to do to help with the physical symptoms? Do your self-care, like 10X, and take care of you, not fighting the person who's sending you energy or being worried that it's a psychic attack. Do what you have to do to take care of you and let that all move through you and feel better. The other thing is do your spiritual rituals and practices that you have. Envision yourself um, contained in a white light from Archangel Michael and or do visualize a cord cutting ritual. All the things that you would normally do, have your crystals with you and do all the sage yourself and do all those other things. Those are fantastic and they help. Um, but ultimately it's your choice whether or not you remain under a psychic attack or if you are calling it to you or you're energetically available for it period end of story and i say this with like so much so much unconditional love in my heart for my empaths because i'm with you i am as well i'm there with you and i've been there and i've gone through the nightmares i get it so but i say this that once you realize that it's actually you that has the power to can, whether or not you give your own what you absorb and giving your own power away and the severity of the negative things that happen in your life it's so freeing you are free and nothing can 
there is nothing that can really get to you after that. So know that you have all those things right anytime you, you anytime you want. It's all there for you and it's all within you. You don't need to have any special rituals done over you. You don't have to have any special training. You don't have to go through any special like treatment plan or anything. You have it already, right? As a psychic medium, as an empath coach, and as a psychic development coach and life coach, my job is to make you understand how fucking powerful you are and amazing and not need me anymore, right? As I, like, I absolutely love, 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 love helping empaths and helping my clients to realize how powerful and amazing they are and step into that power to the point where they're like, wow, wow, Jen, like I can go out and do this for myself and other people now. Like that's the thing. I'm not here to tell you that you have to go through all of this, like, all these jump through all these hoops and do all these things okay to do you already have it within you sometimes it's up to me and people like me like coaches and things who help you tweak and see help you to see your greatness if it's if your blinders are on right now and help you to really nurture and develop those gifts and turn up the volume on your life so that you can feel that sense of empowerment and that's what I love doing that's my mission so by the way this is why in three days my online show the awakened empath is coming out going live if you haven't signed up for this yet, go to awakenedempathlive.com or jenrapinion.com. Put in your name and email and get your get yourself in there because all these interviews with 21 amazing, amazing spiritual experts and speakers, authors, um, some of them have been nationally known on Oprah Super Soul Sessions, Hay House authors, and just all of them are just these beautiful light workers that have amazing wisdom for you. And you're going to be so inspired. So go to jenrapinion.com, put your name and email in. The second thing is I have a program coming out in September on September 9th called The Awakened Empath where I am going to help walk you through all of these steps. I'm going to go deeper into narcissists and energy vampires. I'm going to go deeper into psychic attacks. I'm going to go deeper into self-care for empaths. I'm going to go deeper into protection for empaths. I'm going to go deeper into how to know what kind of empath you are. Yes, there are different kinds. What kind of empath you are and what that means, what your gifts are and how to strengthen and nurture them and and how to be able to heal from past hurt and how to release all the things that don't serve you. This is going to be an eight week intensive to do this. So you will come out and you will be more empowered. You won't feel chaotic. You won't feel powerless. You won't feel drained. You're going to feel like empowered, powerful and rocking. Um, people are jamming. It's Friday night here at the beach. Woo um, so you're going to feel like you can go out and you can be seen, you can be heard, and you can be appreciated for who you are, and you are totally in the driver's seat of your life. And you can use your gifts to create the epicness, the hair on fire life that you fucking deserve, all right? So if you want to know about the Awakened Empath program, and there's Rachel as one of my one of my girls who are in the program, woohoo, I'm so excited. So if you want to join us in this intensive, then message me, comment below, um, just say the awakened empath or say I'm interested and I will contact you because we're getting going in a little, well, a little bit more than a month in a month now. I'm so excited. Nine, nine, 2019. We are blessed. We, this is divinely guided my friends. So we're going to do this. And so contact me for the details. All right. So I love you guys so much. Have an amazing, amazing night. And I will see you tomorrow for the next empath chat. Love you.